round seven of the Amsoil Grand National Cross Country Series, the Dunlop Tomahawk GNCC. First of two stops this year in the Empire State of New York, battling for an AMA National Championship, Caleb Russell. But beginning to put the press on is Thad Duvall. Caleb wants his fifth straight championship this year, but Duvall, fine. He had been on Caleb Russell's heels race after race after race. Finally, at round six, he broke through. Uh, yeah, it feels awesome, you know, if, to finally get the monkey off my back to get the win. It's, uh, it feels really good. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been a roller coaster year with a bunch of seconds, but, you know, we've, uh, we finally uh, got to the top where I needed to be. And, you know, the last couple of weeks have been really re going really good. And I got the, the confidence there and, you know, just going into tomorrow, I'm looking forward to it. Um, this place hasn't really treated me the best in the past. So just a uh, smooth day tomorrow. I'll be happy. Just uh, a top three, you know, I really want to win, but. Like I said, I've had some really bad luck at this place. I just want to get through here 100% and uh, get on to the rest of the year. So, you know, it's uh, looking good. Uh, the conditions look pretty well. It looks a little dusty for the quads, but I feel like it's going to be really well, and really good in the in the woods. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow and ready to get out there and battle for the win. Are you ready to go, GNCC Racers? <laughs> And round number one, the XC1 Pro will be off and rolling at our Dunlop Tomahawk GNCC. Awesome live call from our man Rodney Tomlin. Awesome start for Josh Strang on the Rockstar Husqvarna. He's got the All Balls Racing Hole Shot Award of the 114. Caleb Russell right there trying to get him in second. And we have seen the intensity of the start rise weekly as this championship battle between Duvall and Russell ramps up. Now, Strang is a rider who has proven he can run their pace and win races before, but it has been a tough season for him. Maybe a turnaround today. Here's XC2, the 250 class, the Young Guns. Oh, and a couple of riders go down. Nick Davis, I think he got tagged. He stayed up on the beta. One of the coastal racing riders down. That's either Lane Michael or Craig DeLong. And Chris Vendetti here, 941, gets the Hot Cams Whole Shot Award on his Yamaha and railing that corner, pulling away just a little bit. And Josh Toth has been the one that they're battling with all season for this championship. He is your series leader, but not an ace off the start. He does his best work midway through the race. It's now a Husky 1-2 Josh Strang ahead of Ryan Sipes, who's gotten around Caleb Russell, then Jordan Ashburn. Duvall fifth. Ricky Russell, sixth. As you check back in on the XC1 Pro class. These are the big 450s. It's Trevor Bollinger going through on the Honda, a rookie in this class, last year's champ in XC2. Waiting to see if he can get in the mix. So far this year, only one rider has been able to break through and beat Duvall and Russell, but it's been rough lately. Um, you know, we had a, had a rough Indiana. Um, you know, it would have been a really good weekend to capitalize on points. You know, Caleb had some uh, mishaps there, and uh, I was really bummed out um you know after the race uh well after i actually realized what all happened um you know i had uh had a bacterial infection that uh that caused a, a bad temperature and sent me into a heat stroke on the race or during the race and um you know it uh it it, it took me out i think on the second lap i was severely dehydrated i took like six bags of iv that night um i got to the hospital uh my temperature was like 105 after three IVs, so they were thinking it was somewhere around 107, which is like brain damage area. So, um, you know, I, luckily, luckily it wasn't wasn't awful uh, or as bad as it could have been. But um, just got off the antibiotics, been on those for the last couple of weeks, and uh, we're we're headed in. You know, just I don't want to say to salvage points. Um, you know, I'm still here to race. I I, I don't want to be the guy that just comes to salvage points by any means. I mean, no matter what, I'm going to leave everything on the track. So, um, you know, I I guess I'm sh sure I'm still not 100%. Uh, I haven't been in the gym the last three weeks since the since the incident. You know, we spent all week in the hospital and uh, then the next three or four days on the couch and lined up at the National Enduro last weekend was able to get a second place so I wouldn't say that that's uh, salvaging or cruise control by any means you know a second's pretty strong in a national series so I'm going to try to finish strong no matter what and give it everything I've got and try to land on that box again. Well it has been a renaissance season for Stu Baylor really ramped up the game this year 
Ryan Sipes started the year strong. He got hurt at round two in Florida, and Josh Strang is looking for his breakthrough. Today, looks like Strang and Sipes might be the primary challengers for your championship leaders. When it comes to guarding your diesel engine, Amsoil offers the next level performance you demand. Amsoil Signature Series diesel oils provide six times more wear protection than required by a leading diesel engine manufacturer. Give your hardworking truck the protection it deserves. Amsoil, devoted to protection. See the whole line of diesel products at amsoil.com slash diesel. As riders and racers, we understand the need to get quality parts, apparel, and accessories fast. We have the horsepower of multiple warehouses to make sure your gear, OEM parts, or accessories make it to your door quickly. Check out our easy-to-use website and experience customer service that takes the whole shot. RockyMountainATVMC.com. Get ready. Here he is. Walker Fowler, Brent National Cross Country, XC1 Pro Class Champion. GNCC is Old Eagle 50 Cal, cowboy boots, diesel trucks, Copenhagen, bush light kind of men. Evans Waterless Coolant is the solution to boiling over. So you can push your vehicle like this, and this, and this, without fearing the temperature gauge. Evans Waterless Coolant, defeat the heat. Hey guys, uh, I'm Tim Geiser, riding for Honda Garibaldi Racing Team, and um, we are using Evans Cooling, and you know, like, I know that when, when I use that uh, products, uh, I know that my bike never will overheat, so uh, I'm really happy with it. The GNCC Series is brought to you by Amsoil. Protect your weekend. Rocky Mountain ATVMC, get ready. And by Maxxis Tires, keeps you riding to your maximum potential. Well, the spoilers are in effect today. Caleb Russell running well. Thad Duval running well. But Josh Strang has been in the hunt, and Ryan Sipes has been in the hunt all day long. Right now, though, Duval has wrestled the lead from all of them, with Russell second, and look at this battle, Jordan Ashburn and Ricky Russell going at it. It's amazing the pace in the woods that we're seeing from these riders this year. Trevor Bollinger at the back of that pack, but he is going very, very fast. Now Caleb Russell to the number one spot. So he and Duvall might put on a show again. I thought Sipes and Strang might be able to challenge him today. Maybe, maybe not, let's find out. Russell gets the number one spot. Obviously, you don't win four straight GNCC titles without being able to take advantage of a lead. Gap's pretty good. Gap's pretty good, but Strang definitely putting in his best run of the season. Good to see it. Last race uh, in uh, Indiana was uh, muddy, so I mean, Anything happens in the mud, I think I told told a bunch of people that, and uh, it was good to get a good result. Um, I'd really like to back it up this weekend and and have a good have a good race. Uh, my foot's starting to come around. I'm starting to get more comfortable again, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see. Get a good start. Uh, I think it's not as dusty as last year. We haven't looked at the track yet, but uh, I think it'll be all right. This place is kind of rocky and bumpy, and I, I liked it last year, so uh, I guess we'll just see how it goes. You never have too many contenders in the mix. Which one of the Husky riders is that pulling in? That is Duval. So Strang just went by. So it has gone back and forth, but this visit into the pit area is not going to help Duval at all. Now we hear he hit a tree on the first lap. He obviously was able to get back in the hunt. 
And through all of these sh uh, shenanigans, Strang has found himself back in the lead. So just what the doctor ordered, Strang needed a breakthrough run for the confidence, and he's got it, and Ryan Sipes is right there with him. So indeed, Strang and Sipes are ready to challenge Duvall and Russell today, and look at Sipes! Woohoo! what a charge through that field to wrestle the lead from Strang. And Sipes, who has the background in Supercross and Motocross, knows how to go fast in the open sections, and he just took advantage of that right there. So are we now saying that today could be the day for Sipes to get that breakthrough first GNCC win? He's been at it for three and now a half season. Whoa, and almost threw himself right over the bars there. But that's the Ryan Sipes we know from the motocross days. He is not afraid to pin it. Speed has never been an issue. Can he put it together for three straight hours? Look at him laid over into that berm. He is definitely feeling comfortable today on the coastal racing. Husk Varna, he's got backing from Rockstar. And he's riding like a rock star right now, pulling away from Strang. And what we have now heard from the FMF KTM team of Caleb Russell, he has lost his shift lever and has had to do a full lap here without being able to change gears. You'll hear a screaming KTM out there somewhere. Russell has been going back and forth between 250s and 350s most of the year. I'm not sure which engine he's running today. He's got to get to the pits and get a shift lever on there, and he's got to get it done quickly because Ryan Sipes is rolling. Good to see the family man out of Kentucky on top of his game, and same thing, Strang doing a great job. Uh-oh, here comes Caleb Russell back on the charge. Stu Baylor fourth. And Duvall is off the radar after that long pit stop. Jordan Ashburn on the factory beta comes through. Ricky Russell comes through. Bollinger and then Duvall. Salvage day for the championship contenders. Are you looking for a dirt bike piston that can increase power and decrease blow-by? Then check out Wiseco's all-new Racer Elite Piston Line. Racer Elite has been used exclusively by the pros, including RCA, Joe Shimura, Suzuki Factory Racing, and are now accessible to the public. Available for popular 250 and 450cc dirt bikes, the Racer Elite Series is the first off-the-shelf asymmetrical power sports piston ever made. Its fully machined billet aluminum construction features an exclusive custom lap top ring. Step up with dyno-proven power gains with Wiseco's Racer Elite Piston Line. Are you looking for a dirt bike piston that can increase power and decrease blow-by? Then check out Wiseco's all-new Racer Elite Piston Line. Racer Elite has been used exclusively by the pros, including RCA, Joe Shimura, Suzuki Factory Racing, and are now accessible to the public. Available for popular 250 and 450cc dirt bikes, the Racer Elite Series is the first off-the-shelf asymmetrical power sports piston ever made. Its fully machined billet aluminum construction features an exclusive custom lap top ring. Step up with dyno-proven power gains with Wiseco's Racer Elite Piston Line. We handle your races, your jumps, and your trails. Isn't it time you give your daily driver the same love? Amsoil Signature Series Synthetic Motor Oil delivers 75% more engine protection against horsepower loss and wear than required by a leading industry standard. Amsoil also offers a full family of ATV UTV lubricants, giving you above and beyond fortification for your weekday and weekend vehicles. Amsoil, devoted to protection. Even when you're the best, you never stop striving to be better. The all-new from the ground up 2018 Yamaha YZ450F is now available at Lojack Cycle Sales. With over 40 years of experience in motorcycle sales and service and 15 national championships, we know racing. So stop by Lojack Cycle Sales today in Torrento, Pennsylvania and visit our online inventory at www.lojack.com. Yamaha YZ, it's why we ride. Over the river and through the woods. The newest Polaris models are here for the holidays. Take home great deals on the world's best-selling side-by-sides and ATVs during the Polaris Holiday Sales Event. The GNCC Series is brought to you by Amsoil. Protect your weekend. Rocky Mountain ATV MC, get ready. And by Max's Tires, keeps you riding to your maximum potential. Well, a wild day in the woods of upstate New York has just gotten wilder. Thad Duvall was up front early, went backwards, has now retaken the lead. 
and gets to the top of that treacherous hill climb. So Duval now in position to work on his second straight GNCC win. He might have surprised himself a bit because he was pretty far back. We saw a long pit stop, had a big crash early. And despite all of that, he's in the number one spot. Ryan Sipes still running well in second, had the lead for a bit. As he went to break, he was our leader. Duval was able to overcome him. But Stipe still riding very well, and this all represents championship points. Duval not only wants to win races, but of course put riders between himself and your leader, Caleb Russell. And there's Stipe in second, playing that role. Sipes riding well today. And you have to feel that if Sipes can get the confidence, get all these little puzzle pieces figured out, he's going to win one of these races. The speed and the talent is there, no doubt about it. Stu Baylor is third, so the broken shift lever has cost Caleb Russell big time. He stayed in contention, but then had another big crash. So it has been that type of a day for both Caleb Russell and Thad Duvall. Salvage type day, as I said, going to break. But Duvall looks like he's going to try to salvage the most points. Checkered flag coming within sight. And despite some of the obstacles thrown at him today, it doesn't matter. Thad Duvall is rolling in the Amsoil Grand National Cross Country Series. And it has got to feel so good, not just the way the season started this year, but this guy has been through so many ups and downs in his pro career. He's now got the factory ride with Husqvarna, and he's now the winner of two straight races. So it's coming together for Thad Duvall, and combined with the problems for Russell, look at this. He finishes fifth in the Rocky Mountain ATV MC results. Duvall right in the championship hunt. Ryan Sipes second, and Stu Baylor salvages third. Great races for them. Here's a Ramsoil race recap. Strang with a whole shot and ran the pace for a large portion of the day. So encouraging signs from the Australian. Here he is leading, got Sipes up into second, and he and Sipes were thorns in the side of Russell and Duvall throughout this day. Here's Duvall going into the pit. See, he's got the handguard down after that early crash. Oh, there they are working on the shift lever of Russell. So that's where the damage was first reported, and that's how they got it fixed. So when you get the two contenders in the pits, it allowed Strang and Sipes to play up front. But Strang and Sipes were not playing around. They battled fiercely for the lead. And it was good to see Strang and Sipes get a little confidence leading some laps. But eventually Duval would overcome Sipes, get the lead back, and take the victory. A good run for Sipes, though, to finish up in second. And Stu Baylor persevering for third. Championship lead now just 10 points for Caleb Russell. Another win for Dad Duval. Congrats to him.